Hello Gemini, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a reading for Gemini singles. Uh, we're going to take a current energy surrounding your love life, some, um, something that you want from love, uh, what you've learned from love, a blockage, what's coming in, advice from spirit and potential outcome. We'll clarify those and get a message out there. It's not going to resonate for every single Gemini, so do check out your other placements, your moon, rising, Venus, any stellium that you have in your chart for further messages. Thank you for likes, shares, subscribes, the channel's growing fantastically, it's um, much appreciated, you know, all the, everything that you do, it spreads it far and wide, so if you haven't done so already, please do, and um, if you wanted to check out the description box for details of private readings, feel free to do so. Okay, Gemini. So, ooh, the star, I can be dealing with an Aquarius. Uh, but wish fulfillment coming in possibly. You've healed all that needs to be healed. Time for that wish to come true. What do you want from love? What have you learnt from love? What's blocking you? What's coming in? What's your advice? And outcome, okay. Six of Cups with a Seven of Wands. The World card. Alright. Possibly somebody from your past that's um, going through a transformation at the moment. They're in a protective bubble, but you're going to get another cycle with them, possibly, Gemini. I hear you're booing at the thought of somebody from the past, uh, but I kind of feel like you're going to you're going to be quite impressed with the change so the star it's a wish fulfillment uh, coming in and it's healing like i say this person's going from some sort of transformation i feel and uh, what do you want from love is the devil so you could be dealing with a capricorn or um they may have capricorn in the chat but you want i kind of taking this as a card of passion you want um you feel karmically tied to this person and karma doesn't have to be bad um, you know, there's definitely soulmate energy here. I kind of feel like they've um, there's a there's a real passion. I feel like you you really want to uh, take grip of. You know, you hold the the devil energy here. They're holding the hands out for somebody as well. You're dealing with somebody very dark haired. Uh, it's just really stood out the the, the dark hair then. Um, what you've learnt from love is the ten of cups. So I kind of feel like maybe this person has a family, pre-made family. I kind of feel like you've learned to live with that. Uh, maybe it was something that required some sort of healing. But um, I feel like you've got past that now. The blockage is the death card. It's, um, you know, Scorpio energy. Um, but I kind of feel like this is this transformation that either you or your person is having, uh, this soulmate energy. But there's going to be... There's going to be a new cycle, I feel. Um, so, yeah. The transformation could be still going on for a couple of years for this person. I don't think it's a couple of years until you get together, if you know, if that's the case. I'm just looking at the devil and the death card here. I'm seeing Capricorn in Pluto, and that leaves Capricorn in 2023. So, you know, transformations don't happen overnight. You know, you got to be patient for that degree. But maybe it's something that, you know, what's coming in is the Six of Pentacles. Maybe it's something that you, you both help each other do. You know, heal these things. Your advice is the Three of Wands. I kind of feel like it's... I'm not looking reading third party in this. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking this is just bringing enjoyment back. Um, and if it is third party, I'm more picking up maybe it's a child with this Ten of Cups. Um for some of you but this is manifestations coming in i kind of feel like it's saying sit back and relax for your manifestations however the potential outcome there's no sitting back and there's no relaxing because it's the knight of swords this is a card of taking action taking action for what you truly want and love and believe in interesting
cream up. Okay, the Ace of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the Death card. Yeah, this this passion here. Um, you're gonna get your Ten of Cups with this person. I feel again, Scorpio energy. Um, I feel that they. I'm gonna take back what I said earlier because now that it's coming, I feel like there may have been third party energy, but that's getting ended now. Um, the star is with the Knight of Cups. I kind of feel like this is a destined partnership. Uh, the Knight of Cups is coming in with an offer of love here. Again, this could be you or it could be them. Um, but it feels good. So it's a nice, nice feeling. What you want is the Devil card. Uh, I think it's. I'm picking up strong Capricorn energy here, or just a lot of passion. But I feel like there's been conflict, and I'm looking at the three people in the um, in the picture here. Maybe, maybe you turned your back on this person, or vice versa. Uh, what you want is the Ten of Cups with the Hermit. Or oh, what you've learned, sorry, uh, is the Ten of Cups with the Hermit. I think you've learned that you're happy to take on a ready-made family rather than be on your own. You've learned that since this isolation, possibly, you've gone within yourself. Virgo energy there, you could have that in your chart or deal with a Virgo. The blockage is and kind of perfect, really. Uh, the death with the world card. This is Saturn and Pluto. Uh, both are currently in Capricorn. So maybe that's the way the Capricorn energy is coming from. Um, so a lot of this is going to transform by Christmas. When Saturn um, leaves Capricorn and goes into Aquarius. However, I don't feel like the Ten of Cups completely truly happens until 2023. I see you together with this person before then. But... I think that's the full the full works, the transformation. 2023. The um what's coming in is the six of pentacles with a strength card. I kind of feel like there's, there's balance. Uh, it's gonna maybe even financial increase, which is gonna give you the strength to pursue something here. There's Leo energy. Um the advice is the Three of Wands with the King of Swords, and I feel like this is saying cut out that third party, so whatever the third party was in the past, it needs to be, you know, cut out, maybe somebody narcissistic. Um, yeah, for some of you it may even be, if this person was married in the past, uh, maybe it's their ex, you know, um, kind of feel like the answer is just ignore them. Because the action that you've taken, the Knight of Swords, is with the Nine of Cups. You take an action because this is your wish fulfillment. We've got the wish fulfillment here twice now with the star and the nine of cups. We've got the six of cups energy here for soulmate energy and happiness, maybe child involved as well. We've got the ten of cups here twice because of the bottom of the deck. We've got the ace of wands with the ten of cups. So, single Gemini, I feel you've already met your person. Um, there's going to be a transformation coming you or both of you or just them um, I think you're going to get a lot of answers by Christmas but I don't feel like it's going to be the ultimate ten of cups I feel is after 2023 but I'm not seeing you single until then so don't panic let me take another card for that world and death card with the sun card, yeah. After all that, that is when the true happiness comes. Yeah, you know, it, I kind of see you, what's, uh, what's coming in with the six of pentacles and strength. I kind of see you getting together and balancing things out. Yeah, the knight of cups, this knight of cups is coming. It's coming in soon. So the offer of love is gonna be there. I still think there's gonna be some obstacles for you for the next couple of years. Um, nothing that you can't handle. Um, 
but the sun is going to shine after the transit with Capricorn in Saturn and Pluto, which is 2023. Then you get your Ten of Pentacles. Because what's coming in now is taking action for your wish fulfillment. And then after that is the King of Pentacles, full on commitment. Yeah. Super. Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck again. So you've got the Six of Cups twice here with the Ace of Wands. There could even be children, maybe children in 2023. <laughs> okay, Gemini. Um, so you could be dealing with there's a very strong Capricorn energy, there's very strong Scorpio energy, there's Aquarius energy, Virgo energy, Leo energy. But we've got Wands, we've got Swords, we've got Cups. And we've got Pentacles. So everybody's here, those are your standouts. Alright, look after yourself, let me know if it resonates, Gemini. Uh, thank you for following the channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye.